In sports, East Carolina's Pirates are gearing up for this Saturday's matchup against Southern Miss. Up for grabs, the Conference USA East Division title. Now, Southern Miss is 15-2 and all-time against the Pirates in Greenville. Brian Bailey has more on the rich history of this series. October 28, 2006, in overtime, after a Pirate field goal, Southern Miss goes for the victory. Travis Williams, though, makes the interception to win the game. But it wasn't a victory until the play was reviewed. Upon further review, the call stood East Carolina 20, Southern Miss 17. October 28, 1995, the Pirates got another weird win in Hattiesburg. The Pirates trailed 34-33 and had the football with time for only a couple of plays at most. Struggling Chad Holcomb lined up for a long field goal to win the game. But Coach Steve Logan decided to snap the ball directly to Holcomb, who rolled to his left and fired deep to Scott Richards. Richards never had a chance. Flags littered the field at Southern Miss, and the Pirates moved 15 yards closer for the winning field goal, courtesy of an interference call. Holcomb's kick from 29 yards was true on the final play of the game. East Carolina won it 36-34 was the final. But the most bizarre of all the games between East Carolina and Southern Miss came back on November the 1st, 1986. Last play of the game, East Carolina led it 24-23. Southern Miss quarterback Andrew Anderson heaves a Hail Mary pass that somehow is caught by Laniel Austin. Austin was tackled at about the 10-yard line, but he threw a forward pitch to Randolph Brown, who scored a touchdown as time ran out. Now, the officials threw flags ready to penalize the Golden Eagles for an illegal forward pitch. The problem was, as the rules at the time stated, the Pirates' two options both benefited the Golden Eagles. Southern Miss would kick the winning field goal, and to add insult to injury as the officials ran off the field, a Pirate fan ran onto the field and tackled one of the referees from behind. Another official started hammering the man with roundhouse punches until the melee was finally broken up. That guy with the dark hair and the blue jacket, that was me, always playing the part of Peacemaker. Makes you wonder just what this year's game will bring. Brian Bailey, Eyewitness News 9 Sports.